Hey guys, Steph here to my shirt. I want to come on and show you a few things that I made. Um, I was on earlier, a couple of these stash lots that I have. Um, they are flat rate envelope, padded envelopes, stuff, stuff full. If you look back, you can see more information about them. Um, I'm asking $20 shipped, so you're really paying only 14 something for everything that's in it which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, I'm just asking if you guys can help me out. Um, I need to get some extra money. I have some stuff I'm laying away for my son. So I need to get that off and such. So as you know, I am on a fixed income with my MS and all. So I'm asking you guys to help me out. Um, but besides that, let me show you some things that I'm working on. Um, I made these little, um, they're kind of like little ornaments. I will show you the first one. This is this one. And these are just pictures that I found out of a book or something. Um, and this is a shower curtain ring. One of those plastic shower curtain rings. So I crocheted all around it and then I put this lace around it and then behind it is some felt um, and then I put the picture inside I um, my poshed it inside and then I add little embellishments to it so that's one of them this is another one I made this one is like a double crochet around it with the um, lace trim around it and then I have this one. And this one, for some reason, the Mod Posh. Oh, I think this was antique. Uh, the antique stuff, you know, glossy accents. That's why it's kind of yellowish. But then I put this baby blue lace around it. And also crocheted it. And then I have this one. And I put a little bow at the top. And then, oh, I forgot to add, I made another one of these pine cone uh, flowers. But I want to add something in the middle to it. So if you want me to tell you how to do this, I can. Um, I have a bunch of pine cones, and I was trying to figure out what to do with them. So then I've been, I told you before, I'm doing craft shows. So, um, I've been trying to come up with different things to sell, even though I really have enough to sell. Um, I made these Olaf hats, and I still want to add some, like, little teeth right here. But these are little beanie hats, um, for maybe, you know, a little bit older kids, not teenagers, but... So, I made the little beanies, and I should have really used brown, so... But all I have is black. But I'm going to go back and get some brown. Make some more. So I made a couple of those. Um, let's see. I've been working on uh, quite a bit. I made this little baby one. I need to finish it. See this one has like the teeth in it. But I need to finish it and get some brown um, for his top and everything. That's a little baby one. And then I made this little baby one. Little ears. Um, I made a bunch of infinity scarves. I sold probably about three of them at the two craft shows that I had. So this one is a really chunky, really soft. And I made these two hats which I think I'm going to add like a pom-pom to them because to me they remind me of like uh, the old bath hats. <laughs> so I think if I add a pom-pom to them they'll look better. But this one has a little bit different stitch on it. If anybody's interested in any of these, I am selling them. Like I said, they're for my craft show, but I can, you know, sell them here. This is um, a scarf that comes around and then I was going to put like a little button right here um, there's another kind of scarf like that that I was going to 
comes around like this. And then you add a, I'm going to add a button right here. So it keeps your neck warm. And then I made a, one more of those. And I made a couple of these hats because um, I think I mentioned before that our colors out here, the school colors are orange and blue. So I made a couple beanies that are orange and blue. So I don't know. I hope that stuff sells. Um, the hats, well, really the hats and the scarves will sell for 10 bucks each. So I think it's pretty cheap. Um, and even the infinity scarves, 10 bucks. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, I'm just trying to come up with different things to, you know, make some extra money. So if you're interested in any of those lots, let me know. Um, I'm still going through some things. I don't know. Um, depends on how well those lots sell. Um, I might sell some things separately. I just, you know, I look around my room and I have my favorite things and I have things that people sent me, which I'm not going to sell, but, um, some things like all of us kind of sit there and um right now I just I kind of want to spread the Christmas cheer and you know send happy mail and make sure my my son especially has something for Christmas so if you can help me out with that that would be great and I hope everybody's having a great week um my weekend it started off pretty boring and then um saturday we were sitting around and my neighbor who we ride horses with she has horses um she called just hysterical and she was out riding her horse with her boyfriend and his horse and they were up at a railroad um crossing and waiting there for the train to pass because the train came by and they were waiting for the train to pass well as the train passes you know the train blows the whistle well I guess it wasn't just once it was several times and spooked the horse and the horse um, ended up jumping on the tracks and her um, boyfriend jumped off the horse and the horse got hit and got killed by the train so we went up there and um, I guess the horse flew through the air after getting hit by the train and he landed in a ravine that was very very deep so um, the firefighters came and they said they couldn't do anything because um, it was biohazard then because the horse had bled out um, so my husband and a bunch of other guys um, put some toe straps on the horse. The horse was about 1,200 pounds, so there was about 10 guys that pulled this horse out of the ravine. And we loaded her up on a trailer, and we followed her home with my friend, um, and we went and helped them bury the horse in their field um, at their farm. So, yeah, it was kind of sad. The horse was only about five or six, and it was a really good horse, but for some reason she got spooked before she was fine around trains and cars. So it was just kind of a freak accident, and it could have ended up worse. Everybody was okay, people-wise, so that was good. Um, but, yeah, so the weekend was kind of sad. So, and they, they, wanted, they were trying to get that horse to have a baby and they found out a couple days before that she was pregnant so yeah it was kind of sad but other than that I really didn't do anything this weekend just kind of piddle, piddled around and crocheted and um, I have started my December daily which I will eventually share um, I still need to draw a name for another prize I have not forgotten um, so I will get to that eventually, I promise. So I hope everybody's doing great. Let me know if everybody's interested in anything. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.